Hi guys and welcome back to another ride. It's absolutely gorgeous day to, today and I hope you guys are getting a chance to get out on your wheel. All the new riders, um, keep on going guys. This is, this is a, it, it takes a, a, a small bit of effort compared to anything else to, to get to know this wheel or your unicycle. And as soon as it clicks, it's just absolutely brilliant. So you can enjoy um, riding wherever you feel like riding. You, you know, it's just it's just absolutely brilliant way to get around. But uh, this morning I'm out on the S18 again, and uh, yesterday I did some maintenance on the S18, um, just normal checks and um, some interesting things uh, that I found. So uh, I want to talk about this today. But first, let's get a bit of uh, riding in. Um, I want to I want to do a bit of see how far I can get with the wheel as well to see when I get my first tilt back. Um, it's a fairly calm day, I think it's about 8 degrees outside, it's lovely and uh, just want to bring you guys along and talk about the S18 and what I found on the maintenance. Let's get going! Okay guys, I'll just stop for a quick little break. Just want to give you guys some stats on the on the range. Um, I'm sitting at uh, 12 and a half miles currently and the battery is sitting at 72%. Uh, top speed 23 miles an hour. So yeah, I've been I've been really taking it taking it slow. Average riding speed of about 15.6 miles per hour. Uh, Sorry, average speed of 13.6 miles per hour. And I'm sitting at 77.6 volt. Um, yeah, 14 degrees, the wheel's temperature. This uh, S18 has never, never had heat, uh, like, uh, heat issues. It's absolutely bizarre. There's no fans or any uh, 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 cooling, um, mechanical cooling. It's all done by heat sinks or whatever, and it's just, it's just, it's just amazing. It's like the uh, MacBook Air, you know, there's no moving parts within that machine at all, and it's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, 12 and a uh, 12 and a half, a half miles. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get, um, I want to get to about say about 60 percent, and then I'm gonna start heading home because I don't want to run out of source and have to walk. But okay, um, that's just on the range and I'll keep you guys posted at the end of the video as well um, what the range was that I did today on the S18. Okay guys, just want to quickly give you guys some feedback on what I found when I was doing some, just some basic maintenance on the wheel. And again, if there is any interest in for me to make a maintenance video of how or what I do to my unicycle to keep it clean and, and, and do some uh, basic maintenance, please drop some comments below and I'll make a separate video just focusing on maintenance. But I just want to give you guys some, feed, some feedback and I think I'm going to, the title of this video is going to be Check Your Bolts because uh, I found something very interesting. And, um, you know, I've done a bit of miles on the wheel, but it's not like 4,000 miles. So, uh, let me quickly show you what I found yesterday. Okay, so let's have a quick look. I was just doing the normal checks around the wheel and cleaning the wheel. And then I found, um, I, was, I was looking at these little, um, these little clips that, that um, keeps the pedals up because there's no magnets. And I was just like in, uh, wanting to put some oil on there. And I also wanted to put some oil on my, well, not oil, but grease on my 
on my foot plate, uh, the the bolt that goes from that side to that side. So I just that's what I wanted to do, and I thought myself, yeah, just like do a little bit further check. But then I found the pedal hangers, these things here, the four bolts, the two on the top and the two at the bottom, were loose on both sides, and I'm like, what? This is not good. Luckily, um, I replaced my a normal or my pedal hanger um, uh, attachment screws here to stainless steel hex bolts and they were holding it on <laughs> very bizarre this is a batch one wheel so i think your wheels might have uh, two bolts top and bottom mine only has the one but yeah so i found that these these four bolts um supporting the pe pedal hangers were loose but like in really loose because i was uh, also deflating the shock and just re-inflating the shock just to just to make sure that um well i wanted to try a new uh, a shock pressure and uh, just had a quick look at the wheel so um yeah check your bolts guys check your bolts it's one of those things that you think yeah it all looks fine but then it doesn't oh i also put some uh, fresh hot glue on my uh on my uh, um, on these little boots the dust boots that keeps the suspension um, f uh, or, or, or keeps the suspension arms clean when it goes up and down this this should have really been a little bit of like rubber and this is like it's it's hard plastic so uh, it's not really ideal but yeah I thought deflated the shock reinflated the shock that was all cool and uh, get to know the wheel grab a screwdriver grab a allen key and just check all the bolts and um, not after every ride but if you've done like like a month of riding on the wheel just uh, just check all the stuff pretty much if you think if you think about it, if you buy a new mountain bike and um, and the mountain bike needs to have its first service yes it sounds very weird but uh, and today's day um, the stuff is the tolerances is way way lower and if you it, and and um, the cable stretches the cable the chain and everything starts st stretching and settling in from a new bike so they need to to retune it to so that you can get the best experience so yeah while i was uh, doing some maintenance on the wheel yesterday i thought uh yeah do a deflation of the shock uh, clean all the just clean all the uh, uh, the like the like the shaft and make sure everything is nice and nice and clean just a, a wd-40 cloth and just clean everything off just light super light well and uh, just inflate it again but i thought to myself you know i've been riding a 220 and uh, 90 psi and the negative so i thought to myself i'm going to go up to uh, what's it 110 on the negative and uh and then uh, 230 in the positive hold on a second i just want to get past these people so yeah i thought to myself let's go a little bit higher now that i'm just checking out the wheel and tightening everything i'm going to go a little bit higher so uh, i went to two, uh, 230 in the main chamber and uh what's the, uh, 130 in the negative and uh, man, this sh shock feels uh, much more responsive. <laughs> that guy's struggling up the hill with a uh, with a uh, step-through bike. Get an EUC, man. So much easier to actually ride. But yeah, so uh, so it could have been the bolts that was loose that was giving me a bad experience, riding experience. But it didn't move. It didn't move. It just made a made a funny noise as the pedal hanger was slightly moving up and down on that tube um, so yeah tighten the bolts that's all sorted and then I then I'm running a higher pressure um, my sag is a little bit less so it's a little tiny bit less um, and I check that and that's that is all good because you don't want no sag and uh, yeah it just feels nice and solid I also did clean the wheel out in the arch where the mud was caking up it's just like an ah oh, the wheel is so nice and quiet now <laughs> doesn't feel like there's some uh, loose bolt 
between the tire and the, and the rim. It's getting uh, overcast now and uh, quite chilly. So I've got my light, light gloves on and I actually wish that I put some, uh, put my hillbillies on. It would have kept my hands a little bit warmer. You see, you sometimes forget that uh, 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 you're, not, you're not doing much on the EUC and uh, any wind and uh, coolness just saps all the energy out of you. So it's, I always ride with a bottle of water and uh, just some, uh, just a snack to eat, just to keep, uh, just to keep me uh, fueled up because uh, you, do, you do get cold. It's the same as a, like a motorbike. You sit there and the wind just blows over you and, it's, and it, you just get cooler and cooler and cooler. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you don't have a, a, a nice protection, like wind protection, then it can become uncomfortable. You don't want to be uncomfortable. I was actually keen to go out, uh, use my van, van shoes, because they're nice and light, because the sun was out. And uh, so, so I opted for, the, for my boots, my hiking boots, and uh, definitely, definitely the best option, because my feet are nice and warm. My, Motorbike trousers keep me warm. I still have the liner in, so um, that's that's how it is. And then I've got my uh, my uh, jacket that is uh, warm, but it's now getting cool. And I've got a uh, probably about another 15 miles to get home. So uh, yeah, just uh, just take just take warm clothes because it. Uh, you don't want to be stuck somewhere. Um, so I came through here like a few weeks back on the Sherman and again with the knobby tire, the knobby tire just like and really feels so much more planted than uh, the S18's round tire. As you can see, tire is nice and round. If you've got a square tire, uh, then it just like and smashes through those stones without any issues say a good 16 17 18 miles i think and uh, i'm still super comfortable on this wheel my feet are not feeling it yet and uh, with the suspension it just really makes the ride so smooth as you can see look at the canal absolutely lovely man look at it <laughs> we've got a bit of sun in this section and uh, just very nice but yeah this this suspension on the s18 is just so nice and uh, this is why i'm so keen to uh, ride that s20 slash 22 i think with a coil over would be a different experience but uh sort of just really nice i think i think with the s20 20 22 the wheel is much wider as well so uh, you get a wider stance okay my ride is pretty much done i'm almost at home just want to give you guys the last stats um, of the ride um, it's not a full-blown range test but it just gives you an idea i took it fairly uh, mild today um, i did is two hours and 12 minutes of, of riding average speed of 13.1 miles i'm sitting at 69.6 volt um, top speed of 24 miles an hour and uh, yeah average riding is 15.3 miles per hour and i've done 28.3 miles and i'm sitting at 31 percent battery life and um, 15 uh, de degrees celsius on the wheel um, the um, the temperature so um, i've been getting the beeps and the tilt back so 28 point three two miles okay guys well i i hope uh, this is useful to someone to get an idea of the range of the wheel it's not scientific i'm a 75 kilogram rider and as you can see you know i've done two hours and 13 minutes and now i'm getting the tilt back so i'm super happy with that such a nice wheel and i must say after the bit of maintenance i did yesterday it's even better the suspension everything feels like a nicely tightened up really big thumbs up 
Okay guys, if you have any questions about the wheel um, or if you're interested in buying an S18 um, and you've got questions about it, you, find, you, you think it's going to be super difficult to ride it or whatever, please drop some comments below on the video and I will try and help, and, uh, help answer any of your questions. Um, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's absolutely awesome. It's such a nice wheel. You know, um, yes, it doesn't have the massive amount of power than, than all the other wheels, but for ride comfort and the agility and also being a, light, a lighter wheel, uh, according to all the other big massive range wheels, it makes quite a big difference. It, it also makes it a little bit less intimidating when you're trying to learn on a wheel. But very happy with this wheel, man. Very happy. You know, it's it's uh, and there's a lot of customization you can do on the wheel. Other pedals, you can you can get some side pads for these things. You can get a different shock. You can tune the shock to your liking. It's just absolutely brilliant. But yeah, if there's any comments, uh, comments or questions, drop them down below, and I will try and answer them. And then, um, uh, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And also, if you did like the video, give it a big old thumbs up so we can share the knowledge and share the, share the, um, share, share the information across, across to other ch channels. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Happy riding. Cheers.